Hi guys, welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi Purdila and today we'll talk about Photoshop swatches. Now this is one of those tools that you kind of overlook or even take for granted. But the truth is, this one is really powerful. It enables you to define a list of colors within Photoshop and then makes it really easy to use those colors. You don't have to remember hex values or color codes or anything like that. You just create a list and use them whenever and wherever you want. So let me show you how it works. You need to go to Window, Swatches, okay? And you have an empty panel for now. We don't have any swatches added. But when you hover, it says click to create a new swatch. So click it will automatically grab the foreground color you set right here. And, you know, for name, let's call it like heading. And there are multiple views for the swatches. You can use either thumbnails or lists. Personally, I use a small list because uh, it also gives me the text or the name of that swatch. Okay, so let's create another one actually. Go here. Let's choose like a lighter color. Something like this. Click again. Let's call this text. And let's create one for uh, the link color. Now, there are two ways to create swatches. One is the one I just showed you. You know, pick it from here and then click on the swatches panel or open the color picker and then choose your color let's uh, let's grab a blue and then click add to swatches name it link okay and that's about it now you have three swatches you can work with so what can you do with them well let's create a piece of text okay so we have some basic text we have a heading which will give it the color for the swatch heading. We have the text, which will give it this color. And we have the link, which already has the, uh, the foreground color. But as you can see, it's really easy to assign a color. And you don't even have to click on, on the square, on the thumbnail right here. You can just click on the whole row if you're using the list view. So, for example, heading, well, you know, I can click here, here, or here. It doesn't matter. It will uh, select that color. Now, the cool thing about swatches is you can have, like, different collections, different lists of colors for different projects. For example, how I work, I have, like, for each project that I'm making, I create all of my swatches, you know, for links, borders, different backgrounds, uh, text, light text, heading colors, all that stuff. Uh, I create them all here and then I click on this little arrow and then I choose save swatches. And I save them in like I have a, a folder dedicated for this. So let's do a quick test here. Let's call these test. It saves them with the extension ACO. Okay, so save and that's it your swatches are now stored uh, if for example you worked on a different project and you want to load those swatches that you saved a while ago so for example let's just uh, get rid of these we can do load swatches test ACO and it brings them all back now earlier you just saw me deleting some swatches uh, you can do this in two ways. Either grab the, uh, the swatch and drag it to the bin here, or uh, press Alt on your keyboard and then just click on the swatch. You know, press Alt, uh, wait until you get this uh, scissor, cursor, and left click, and you've deleted that swatch. Okay, load again, and that's it. And since I started using it, I noticed a big increase in productivity. And so I hope it's going to help you as well. 
Okay, thank you for watching this uh, quick tip. I'm Adi Purdila. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.